Hi everyone, we're back at UKGE with Jack from Echo Vale Games. That's right, yeah. And uh, you were showing off this collectible card game? That's the expandable card game. Expandable card game. Very, very close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is Discovery, the expandable card game. Um, we're trying to take a foray into creating a, a dueling card game in the fantasy genre, like many of you have seen before, uh, but we're putting our own unique spin on it. Uh, and I think that's best demonstrated by our quest system. Uh, this is a system that's tied directly in with deck building, yeah. uh, as well as being something you get to exhibit with, a, you know, expression of artwork and not just skill. So functionally, what happens is we go on a journey. So this quest is presented to us, and we get to choose that before we start the game. It's yep. part of constructing the deck. And what it does is, turn by turn, we're able to reveal more and more of this quest as you adventure up. And in this case, we're climbing the candlelit tower. And when we eventually, around about turn four, you're going to complete your quest, you're going to unlock a permanent passive reward that will change how your deck plays against someone else. Right. Um, the primary goal in every single case here is to try and get your opponent to zero health before they do the same to you. But by doing this and having a different quest, even with exactly the same cards, you'll find that the way you get to zero health on your opponent's board before yours changes from person to person, depending on how they want to play the game. Right, okay. So you've been working on this for quite a while? Six years, yeah, right. six years. It's been a, a long, arduous process, and uh, the design's taken a few bobs and weaves to get where we are. I would imagine. Uh, but it means we could get some really great artwork on the cards for people to come and play with, so yeah. it was important to us to start that Did time. you have the theme nailed down from the start, or is that something that's evolved? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, we, we pulled a lot of inspiration from any game I could possibly get my hands on. I've read so many rule books of games I've never played, it, it yeah. can't even begin to explain. Um, a heavy inspiration for us was Boss Monster, which functionally is a, is a very different experience to this. Yeah. But, um, you know, having this uh, developing sort of program movement almost kind of game as we build the dungeons there, there's been a heavy inspiration in how we build the quests. Okay. Um, so, you know, we, we, we pulled and contorted from everywhere we possibly can, but the, the DNA has been there and it's just about bringing those, those yeah. bits of flavor out and bringing the things out with does, it. Does each deck have a different style of play then? Or are That's right, yeah. So each of the archetypes that we, we, we have on display here, we have the Cutthroat Pirates, uh, and we have the dread catchers. They're kind of a plan A in all of the decks. So they're the ones that have the heroes and the quests dedicated to them. Yeah. But we've also got the, the shamans and the super abyssal minions in these decks as well. And they're taking more of a plan B role. So they don't have their dedicated quest and their dedicated oh, hero okay. in play. But if you were to pick up the products, uh, we are on Kickstarter. It's one of those places where you can go and, and play all these decks for free. We have a Britain yeah. play packet and we also have the, a tabletop simulator mod. Oh. But you can typically play with this quest and this hero, but you could have taken these exact same cards and played it with a quest that belongs to those super abyssals or belongs to those shamans yeah. and have a completely different experience. Um, and your opponent, by extension, will have a different experience because your deck will play completely differently, even yeah. with exactly the same cards. Okay. Let's talk about the Kickstarter then. What are the pledge levels that you've got? So, so we're going quite small because it's an expandable game. We don't want people to, to feel like they're being ripped off. Yeah. The entry point has got to be important for me. So we're starting at £25 for a deck. Uh, early bird bonuses, if there's still left, is £20 to start. But yeah. uh, what we're doing is offering uh, £25 for one deck, and that gives you two complete archetypes for either of the guilds. Okay. So again, there's Spirit, which is white, Duality is blue, Law, which is yellow, and Fervor, which is red. Uh, picking up one of those, 25. Yep. If you decide to pick up two of those individual guild packs, as we're calling them, um, you'll end up paying a slight, slightly more, but you get a little bit of a discount. Yeah. You're trying to be nice to people. Um, so the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. And if you buy the complete collection, it, it's £20 a guild pack, so okay, £18 so. total. Okay, um, cool. What I will say is, although with the one guild pack, you've got two sort of options, where you have a, a plan A and a plan B, yeah. using quests and heroes, uh, if you get the entire set, it goes from two choices to over 50. Wow. So it, there really is a lot to play with, even if it seems like it's, it's an expandable game. You know, you've got all your play sets in there, every card you could possibly want, yeah. uh, and everything's good to go. It's going to be a, a really rich experience if you've enjoyed deck building and changing deck between rounds. That's cool. So people can obviously go to Kickstarter to find out more. Is there a website or social media they can go to? Absolutely, yeah. You can follow us at uh, Discovery ECG on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have our website, which is echovale.games. Yep. Um, it, it's got all the links on there if you want to access any of our socials as well. So it's probably the best place to go. Superb. Well, I wish you all the best, Jack. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.